Hi, this is a review on some Guy Cucho saws that uh, I was sent by Workshop Heaven to have a look at. Now, I'm no stranger to Guy Cucho saws, I've been using them for at least the last four or five years, and uh, all those saws I've had in that time have been excellent, so I've been very pleased with them. They're uh, available in the UK and they're not overly expensive, so uh, that's a good starting point. Now, start off with the flush cut saw. This is the best actual flush cut saw that I've uh, ever had. Uh, it, it really does do an excellent job, doesn't mar the work that I'm sawing off against at all, and uh, really sharp, so, and lovely and flexible as well. Nothing more really to say about that, does a brilliant job. The Ryoba saw is it's got a different model number to the one I've been using for the last couple of years, but um, it seems to be set up exactly the same. Um, my previous one worked really well, and this one does too. Comes obviously incredibly sharp with the induction hardened teeth. Saw plate is lovely and flat, and uh, I don't have any problems cutting a nice straight uh, line with it. It's worth noting with this and the, the next two saws that I'm going to mention that the blades can be replaced um, without having to throw away the handle. So that's, uh, that's good for your, your wallet and uh, good for the environment I suppose as well. Now uh, they do last an incredibly long time. They are very sharp and they stay sharp for a long time so that's a, a good factor. The uh, Kataba, again replaceable blade it's a thicker blade um, than a Dazuki saw because it hasn't got a back. Um, again, lovely and flat, produces lovely straight lines and, uh, and cuts really well. I'll put the model numbers up on screen so you can see exactly what, uh, what one it is I have. And uh, it's originally coarse blade on here. I think the model number, if I'm reading it upside down, is an S400. Does a great job on uh, on larger cuts, larger joints, where the Dazuki just won't fit. Now the Dazuki, again, it's, it's a, it is quite a large Dazuki saw. Has a fine blade on it, makes an excellent cut, leaves a really lovely smooth surface. Uh, this one, the model number is a uh, S303. Again. Lovely blade, lovely and sharp, nice and flat. Got the stiffening back on it. Means I can cut nice, accurate joinery with this and uh, not have to worry about not getting a straight line. So they are excellent for saws and I would highly recommend them. I don't know how long they're gonna, these ones particularly are gonna last uh, with regards to sharpness. I can only tell you that my previous set have lasted um, well over two years of a lot of use, so um, got, they've got a good history to them. It's difficult to say an awful lot more about saws. Um, I've tried them in both soft and hardwoods. Uh, I mean, they are absolutely fantastic in softwoods, as are Japanese saws. I mean, let's face it, the heritage is worth working the softer woods, and they are fabulous. But I've also used them with um, medium hardwoods, the sort of the woods we have in Europe. Um, beech and oak and they saw really well and no broken teeth or anything like that so um, I'm really quite impressed and I have been for the last few years. I'm going to show some photographs now of the surface finish having cut with these uh, these different saws just to give you an idea of um, what they cut like. I found the flush cut saw really great um, a finger or two keeps it nice and flat where you're working and it doesn't leave any marks at all. The Ryoba cross cuts really well, although it has got a quite a fine pitch to it. So it's uh, better suited to smaller work. 
and it rip cuts really well too. The Catawba cross cuts quickly and easily in both soft and hardwoods. Although this particular Dazuki is a rip cut, its fine teeth cross cut really well. And it definitely excels at dovetail work. I haven't marked out at all for these dovetails. The saw produces a fine curve and tracks straight lines so easily you don't need to. So I think you can see from those photographs that you get a good finish off uh, of all these saws and uh, if you're interested then they're available in the UK certainly, I'm sure they're available in the States and elsewhere. Um, I'll put the name up again here, can't pronounce it properly but there's the name, uh, here are the model numbers. Uh, these came from Workshop Heaven in the UK and Workshop Heaven have been very generous, they've said that for Toolmake 17 uh, my challenge this year, they will give away uh, one of these saws to one of the winners. Which saw they give away, um, that's going to be up to you. You tell me which saw you'd like to be given away. Or given away. Which, you tell me which saw you'd like to potentially win. So uh, in the comments, tell me which of these saws, the Flush Cut, the uh, Tazuki, Kataba, or the Ryoba, you tell me in the comments which one should be up for grabs in Toolmate 17. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Cheerio!